Hello YouTube. I was shooting this video. I have a lot of people sending me private messages wanting to know about how I have these things hooked up. I just wanted to start off with these units are not parallel. I don't have a parallel kit on these. Each unit you can think of it as being its own separate unit. Let's say this unit here is in your garage hooked up to his own battery bank hooked up to his own sub box and let's say this unit here is in your house and it's running everything in your house on the loads that your house need this is only running on the loads that your garage need this is the easiest way I can explain this to where each one of these units are independent of each other they are not tied to the same battery bank they are not tied to the same power line each one of them has its own separate AC power coming in now these units were never meant to be parallel together for a 240 volt load these units were designed so you can parallel them together to achieve a higher wattage so let's say that the your house needed uh, 5,000 watts of power but if you bought only one of these units your house would be lacking of power you wouldn't be able to run everything in there because these units is only like 2500 watts so to achieve the power that you need they made a parallel kit to where you can parallel these two systems together to where they work as one 120 volt system not one 240 volt system these systems was only designed for a 120 volt AC power outlet. So even with the parallel kit, you cannot hook these up to a 240 volt load. Can't do it. It wasn't designed for that. I talked to MPP Solar before I purchased these units. I told them exactly what I was going to do and they told me exactly what I needed to do to hook these up I did exactly what they said they said treat these units as two separate units that's going to be running a hundred and twenty volt load so that's exactly what I did I treated these units as two separate units everything in this sub panel is nothing but 120 volt uh, appliances like my furnace like my uh, TV like my lamps like all my lights um, what else is running on my water softener my my water purifier all of that stuff is 120 volt AC power so I have nothing that's running in this sub box that's 240 volts everything that's running 240 volts is pulling directly off of my main 200 amp service so it has nothing to do with these two units my 220 240 volt loads is only ran for a matter of maybe minutes the central air unit come on it might run for 10 or 15 minutes I have a on-demand electric water heater up under my kitchen sink you turn that on it might be ran for one or two minutes um, can't think of anything else that I have that's 240 volts but the little stuff that I have is ran only for a short period of time. It wouldn't even be feasible for me to buy a unit to try to run that 
for the simple fact is the little small period of time that it's ran, it is not even using one kilowatt of, of power. So I didn't see a need of trying to feed them um, through my solar system for the simple fact is over the course of a month that all of my 240 volt loads might equal up to maybe about 10 kilowatts so it wasn't worth it I found out that with my um, power company that I have if you don't use at least 150 to 200 kilowatts of power a month your bill is still going to be the same so you might as well use it or you're going to pay regardless so I didn't feel like I needed to address that I, I just wanted to get everything that you use every day like your TV like your uh, the blower motor I wanted the blower motor on my furnace most definitely on there because in the winter time when the power go out if you don't have no blower motor then your furnace is not going to work so I wanted my blower motor to work so we would have heat even though uh, um, the central air unit won't work on this system the blower motor will so that blower motor will be pulling off of here when the central air unit is going the central air unit will be pulling off the grid when it's running in the winter time when we have a power outage I can still have heat in the house I have a pellet burner for auxiliary heat and that thing will will work off of a 120 power too so we can still use that too so I just wanted to address that because I, I, I felt like the people wasn't understanding what I was saying and I was getting overwhelmed with questions about how my system was, was wired up so I wanted to address it in a video instead of trying to send messages back to everybody that that um, pretty much contacted me on that um, this guy over here is still in progress we're going to get it up and going we got the wire in today to run from the solar panels back to the to the unit here so we're going to get that taken care of today and hopefully my wire to come from my unit here to my battery bank will be in uh, in the next day or two and, and I'll get some video up of this guy here running here but other than that uh, I think I answered everybody's questions. If you have any other questions, please uh, leave a message in the comment box or personal message me and I'll try to answer your question. But I, I think I explained it pretty good this time, but hopefully um, that answered everybody's questions. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Like and subscribe.